Conservative radio host Michael Savage went on an anti-immigrant rant on his show. Let's listen, then I'll explain why this is a legendary fail. When I was in these emergency rooms, I was amazed you'd see children with a flu from Mexico, for example, with 10 family members sitting in there behind the tent with not only doctors and nurses tending to their every need and every imagined need for fear that the vermin in the ACLU will sue the hospital and the doctor, but there's a translator there. You have no idea what this is costing you. And you will have no idea until you actually go to work for a living like a grown man. And as they say, look, I was once young and I was once a liberal. In fact, I was once a social worker. In fact, I am the son of an immigrant, so I have sympathies towards immigrants. But it took me a while to lift the, the veil off this whole issue of immigration until I saw through it and realized what it is. And there's a much bigger picture here than you may imagine. It's not the hard-working bus boy or the gardener or the maid or the cook that we all see every day. It's the silent millions sitting at home who do not work. They're not the gardeners. They're not the cooks. They're not the maids. They're sitting at home knocking out babies like loaves of bread because each baby is a meal ticket and each baby needs to be educated and medicated. Who, who is emigrating from those countries? The cream of the crop? Well, no, there are some who are just poor and looking for a better life. And what's a better way to have a better life than welfare? You idiot! You don't get welfare if you're an undocumented immigrant! No, th it's unacceptable! All they're doing is fear-mongering and playing on the xenophobia and racism and myopic attitude of his scared old white listeners. But it is totally incorrect. He's talking about undocumented immigrants getting welfare, sitting back and sucking off the state. Sucking off the state sounded strange. <laughs> sucking off the teat of the state? That's slightly better, though it still sounds awkward. That doesn't exist. We covered, understand, we covered the immigration reform in great detail the other day when Obama announced the executive order. One of the provisions of it is you temporarily can stay, you get a work permit, you get a social security card, you pay taxes, but you get nothing in return. Nothing. No welfare, no food stamps, no other social safety net programs that every other American citizen gets. So when he goes out there and he says, that's what they're doing, they're taking money from the state, it's costing you so much money. Eh. The only thing that they get is if they're sick and they get hurt or they have a disease or a broken femur, then they could go to the hospital and they get taken care of. That's it. That's all they get. But look, this jackass probably wants to take that away, too. <laughs> so, oh, you have a broken bone? Suck it up. Go home. Taxpayers aren't paying for anything. But this is why I flip out and I get so angry and I yell about conservative talkers. Is that... This... It, okay. Different school of thought. There was a study that found that people who watch Fox News know less about the news and the world than people who watch no news. It's the same thing for talk radio. This is why I get angry. Because it's factually inaccurate. It's just false. It's just wrong. I don't know if it's lies or he's just an idiot making shit up, but it's wrong. And then he goes on in the same rant, by the way, to say, it's gonna co it costs a trillion dollars, a trillion dollars to do immigration reform. Now, what's he using to come up with that number? It was a Heritage Foundation report from a while back. You know how they calculated that report? And it says it in the report. There were so many articles about this, because even other conservative outlets were like, yeah, dude, this is wildly inaccurate. Because what did they do? They calculated as if we did immigration reform, and then uh, it everything was just er, on, the only things that were calculated were the things that were paid out from the state. So if everybody became a citizen, all undocumented immigrants got citizenship, and then it only calculates the money that they take. They did not calculate any of the taxes they would also pay if they become citizens. 
total bullshit report, and also it doesn't apply to right now when they are undocumented. And even under Obama's new executive order, it doesn't apply to that. But nonetheless, Michael Savage goes out there, that's what they are, they're welfare queens. He's using the same kind of talking points that Ronald Reagan used to use when he spoke about how there was a welfare queen who has a Cadillac and makes over $100,000 a year because she does fraud and takes all this money from all these different government programs. That entire narrative and that entire idea, it was totally made up. Totally made up. It's been debunked 476 ways to Sunday, but Michael Savage is still playing on that because that's the only trick the conservatives got. They don't know how to further justify their inhumanity and their immorality and how unethical they are. So what do they do? They just fall back on old platitudes and cliches and stereotypes and falsehoods. And that's all you really need to dupe over an audience that's already inclined to believe that nonsense.